Hi boys and girls! Today we are going to unbox this toy. It's new, it's called Goldie Blocks and the Spinning Machine. It's a STEM toy. STEM science stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. So S is for Science, T is for Technology, E is for Engineering, and M is for Math. So it's STEM. This toy, Goldie Blocks and the Spinning Machine, is an engineering toy. This is here, it's an engineering concept. We are going to make a belt drive in here. It's for kids ages 4 to 9. It has a book and 33 pieces. So with STEM toys, what we do is we build things, especially for engineering. We build things, then we test it. We find solutions for it. And then we do that all over again. We build and test, find solutions. And at the same time, we're gonna have fun. Let's see what this toy has to offer. Let's open up the box. All right. Goldie blocks and a spinning machine. Ooh. All right. Look what we have here. Oh. <laughs> the first item that's slid out to us is a book. I guess we're gonna read it, but let's see what else this box has. Alright. Here at the top, we see five blue circles, right? One, oh, going at one, two, three, four, five. Five blue circles. I'm gonna put them to the side here. Then we have a ribbon. Ooh, a pretty pink ribbon. Flip this also to the side. Then we have. Ooh, how many do you think we have here? We have blocks. One, two, three, four, five. We have five blocks. Looks like five is starting to be a theme. So we have five blue circles and five purple blocks. And we have. Ooh, what is this? Little crank, right? You could turn knob, crank. Should we take these out? These look so cute. Look, we have a pink dolphin with a pearl, pearl necklace. You see that? And the tutu, like a ballerina, must be a dolphin ballerina. Very cute. We also have a bear. He has a little suit on and a tie and a little briefcase. He has a suitcase here. He must be going to work. And looks kind of like a businessman, right? And then we have let's see, a cute dog. Look at that. With brown ears. Very cute dog. Ruff, ruff. We have. Ooh. <laughs> We have a sloth with a green vest. Sloth are they're kind of known to be lazy and I think they sleep a lot. <laughs> sloth. And oh, we also have a cat. Kind of looks like grumpy cat, right? Doesn't look too happy. Looks like a grumpy cat. Long tail. Alright, so it looks like that's the cast of characters. There are five characters. And there are these yellow wheels. One. How many do you think there are? Three. Yep, you guessed it. There are five. One, two, three, four, five wheels. And then, oh, we have more than five sticks. Let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So there's ten sticks. Let's take these out as well. Alright. Oh, there's something under here too. And then what's this? Oh, 
the last item in here to put the box away. It's a square board. All right. Let's show you this so you can see what items there are inside the box. All right, let's see what we're supposed to do with this. I'm going to guess that our book here will tell us what we should do. Let's see. Holy box and the spinning machine. So, let's maybe we'll read it together. Yes. Ahem, listen up. I like reading. It's true, but I like building too. So if you see this symbol, try to do what I do. We saw the symbol somewhere else. Oh, it's also on here in the star. Yes. So if you see this symbol, try to do what I do. All right, let's get reading. Spill of materials. This is 10 axles. Oh, I guess these bars are called axles. There's 10 of these. We counted those. Five blocks, we did count five of these, remember, right? Five washers, ah, the wash, these are called washers, these circles. Five washers, we counted five of those. One crank, uh -huh. one ribbon, yep. Five wheels, yep, we have that, and one pegboard. We have everything we need. Have you met the girl named Goldilocks? Here she is. She likes to think outside the box. Mm. So it's a stick and axle into the pegboard. Stick and axle. Remember these are the axles? Stick it on the pegboard. Where should we put it? Should we put it in the middle? Let's try it out. As you can see, the Blocks family takes engineering seriously. Oh, they do, look. It looks like they engineered a house with a windmill. Oh, look at that. It's very, very cool, hey? Very cool house. We see some ladder and crane. Very nice. When it comes to building, Goldie's no rookie. She stops at nothing to get that cookie. Look, I wonder what she's building. <gasps> what do you think? I see this going to the cookie jar on top of the refrigerator that I'm guessing her mom or dad might have hidden and put it over there so that she doesn't eat it. <laughs> it's not as healthy for you. But I guess it's good once in a while. Look, Goldie's being very clever. Very persistent to get that cookie. This is Nacho, her basset hound. She rescued him from the pound. Nacho makes the silliest sound when he chases his tail around. Gazpacho! <laughs> says, bye Nacho. Bye Nacho. Ooh, I remember him. Do you remember him? There's a dog here, right? Where is he? Here he is. Bye Nacho, we found him. One day, Goldie hatched a scheme. I'll bid, build Nacho a spinning machine. Just like her ballerina girl, Nacho will twirl and twirl and twirl. Uh, Nacho, do you guys you know what twirling is? <gasps> twirling, like that. <laughs> it's basically spinning around, right? What makes her twirl? What is the answer? A wheel and axle spin her dancer. If Goldie copies this design, she'll have Nacho spinning in no time. It says, grab a wheel, axle, and ribbon. All right, let's grab a wheel. Which one's the wheel? This one? Yes, you are correct. Grab an axle, remember the bar, and the ribbon. All right, we have all three of them here. What should we do with it? Let's turn the page to find out. She sticks an axle in a hole, puts a wheel atop the pole, and winds it up with a ribbon roll. Mm, look at that. It 
says, do what Goldie does on your pegboard. Let's try it out. Well, we already have an axle. Hmm. Should we put this one here? Maybe. Cross from that. Let's try it out. They said put the wheel on top, right? And crank it up. Refuse to crank. I guess we're supposed to put a ribbon next to you, right? Let's try it out. Put the ribbon here. Oh, good. There's Velcro. There's Velcro on the wheel, so it kind of sticks to it. Let's crank it up. Ooh, look. We're winding up the ribbon. Winding it up. It's rolling around. Should we do the whole ribbon? What do you think? Yeah? All of the ribbon. Ooh, whoop, the end. <laughs> Let's see what's next. All right. On top, she plops a nervous nacho who is not looking quite so macho. She pulls the ribbon and he squeals, chorizo, chorizo. So silly. It's food. Find Nacho on top of the wheel and pull the ribbon. <gasps> All right. Let's find Nacho. Oop. Put him on top of the wheel and pull the ribbon. What do you think will happen? Do you think he's going to twirl and twirl? Let's test it out. Shoo, yes, he does. You are correct. No. <laughs> Looks like he's a little dizzy, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's see. What about me, Katinka squawks? You ripped me from my box. The least you could do is spin again, spin me again, too. Find Katinka. Where's Katinka? Remember her? She's the cute dolphin with the tutu, and she's pink with the pearl necklace. Mm -hmm. We found her, so let's see what says we should do next. Goldie winds Notch's wheel again and adds a wheel and axle for her friend. Alright, it says, add another wheel and axle to your pegboard. Alright, let's go. Let's find a wheel and axle for our dolphin friend. Where should we put it this time? Should we put it on the opposite end of Nacho? Maybe? So they can look at each other like this? <laughs> that would be cute, right? Let's put a wheel on top. Tinka. Look, they're looking at each other. <laughs> it's very cute. All right, let's see what we're supposed to do next. She pulls the ribbon, runs past Nacho, and they yell, Babushka and Muchacho. <laughs> How silly, right? Let's copy this design on your pegboard and pull the ribbon. It looks like what we're supposed to do is put the ribbon around Katinka. And pull. What do you think will happen? Do you think they'll both twirl? Let's try it out. Yes, they are. They're both twirling. <laughs> wow. That's cool. All right. While Nacho and Contigo were getting spun, the others wanted to join the fun and formed a line one by one. Ah, here are the names of the other characters. There was Benjamin Franklin. Do you remember him? I thought he looked a little grumpy. What do you think? Looks like grumpy cat, right? His name is Benjamin Franklin, so I'm guessing he's a little cranky. <laughs> right? A sloth named Phil. Look, the sloth is already sleeping. Phil's already sleeping. And a bear that flew in from Brazil. Ah, I knew he looked like a business person. Businessman, bear from Brazil, who flew in. Let's see, it says, find Benjamin, Phil, and Flavio. Ah, his name must be Flavio. Flavio, we found them. Let's see what we're supposed to do next. Goldie added more wheels, but stood perplexed. She didn't know what to do next. Don't give up, the sloth cries. All you have to do is try. That's true, huh? Sometimes you just have to try something. It says here, put five wheels into a circle on your pegboard. Let's put 
five wheels. into a circle on your pegboard. To a circle? Maybe they want us to do that because that forms a circle. Not a circle, kind of, right? The closest to a circle we can get. Okay. So Goldie tries this and Goldie tries that. She tries pulling the ribbon while wearing a hat. I guess she's trying different things, huh? Different strategies. Strategies are, I guess, plans of what you should think you should do in order to achieve your goal. Let's see. She even tries doing hula dances in hopes it will improve her chances. <laughs> how funny. Look, she's wearing a hula skirt. Do you know how to hula dance? We do it in Hawaii. Nothing works, so she puts on her shades to look at it in a whole new way. Sometimes that helps, right? Maybe not the sunglasses, <laughs> but just looking at things in a new way. Suddenly, the best idea so far. Zigzag the ribbon just like a star. Ooh, that looks fun, right? I'm guessing the yellow ones are the wheels because it's yellow, right? And circle, and then... It looks like that might be the blocks, right? The square, kind of the same. That's probably the ribbon. Let's see. She winds up Nacho's wheels with care, puts an axle between each chair. Puts the block atop each pole, weaves the ribbon, she's on a roll! Says, copy the design on your pegboard and pull the ribbon. It looks like it's a star, right? What they were doing before. All right, let's create this. I'm gonna put the book down. I'm gonna keep it open so I can look at it. And let's see, we have to create a star, right? So maybe we'll, we'll roll this up. Roll this back up. I'm gonna do this so you can see it. Actually, look, since we put it into a circle, it's kind of the points on the star. So let's see. The book says the yellow ones are on the top of the pointy parts of the star, right? Alright, so we can't just leave the wheels here by itself. We have to put an axle there, right? Let's put an axle. So let's take this one off here. Let's start by doing that. Let's put all the axles first. What do you think? That can be our strategy. Our strategy is we'll put all the axles first in the pointy places before we put the wheels. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then we'll put the wheels on. One, two, three. And then what do you think? Let's see where... See where Katinka's here. Looks like Nacho's here. Looks like they're at the top of the stars, right? Okay, so let's put them there. Nacho's here. We'll keep the ribbon on him. Looks like Katinka's next to him on his left, so I'm gonna put her there. And then Aha! These blocks are on the insides of the star. Okay, let's put the axles there first, right? Because that's what's going to hold them together, the insides of the stars. Oop. Are there five? Are there five points? There are. There are five points on the inside of the star. And then it looks like it's the blocks, right? Those are the blocks. So we're going to put this in. Oh, I guess it doesn't go in. It only goes up top like this. Okay. It doesn't go straight through. It sticks out like this. Alright. Alright. 
I think we have that part, right? And then, oh, let's see where the animals go. Where's the sloth? It's on the right of the dog. On the, the dog's right, not just right. Sloth here. His name was Phil, right? Then we have Flavio on the left of Katinka. So let's put Flavio here. Alright, and then where's our grumpy cat, Benjamin Cricklin? He's in front of the star sloth. Let's put him right here. Alright. And then it looks like we have to put the ribbon there. Hmm. All right, let's put the ribbon on. How should we do this? Looks like we put the ribbon around the block. So it goes around the block. Okay, let's wrap the ribbon around the block. And then it looks like it goes around the sloth, right? Around the sloth, and it looks like around the block again. Then around Benjamin Cranklin. Then around the block again. Put the book down. The block again. Then around Flavio. Then around the block again. Good thing that fell. Put it back on. Then around the block. The wheel. Then around the block. Oh, look, they're spinning already. Oh my gosh, wow. I guess that's what's supposed to happen. How exciting. Should we test it out? Should we try it out? Here, this is what it looks like. It's a star. You can see that from above. It looks pretty close to the photo we saw, right? And the book. What do you think will happen if I pull on it? We saw a little preview, right? Um, Pavlova, bandwidth, <laughs> Truro, the sloth is still sleeping. Pawtucket, yay! So let's, let's see what she says. My friends, the fun has only just begun. Let's brainstorm more shapes to spin everyone. Wow, it's like a spinning party up in here. Wow, look. So I guess that's what you build. You build a spinning machine. No, look, I think if you, if you twist Nacho, look, it goes backwards again. Wow, how cool. Spinning machine, they're spinning and spinning and spinning. Whoa. All right. It also says that if you use these little circles and you put it underneath the, the little wheel. So, for example, if you put this underneath. Benjamin Cranklin, he'll go faster, so it spins faster. Okay. Can try it out. Does he spin faster? Boop. I guess he does. I think we have to put the wheels under everyone. We can test it out next time too. Alright, let's see the rest of the book. Oop. Oh, and one more thing. These are some of my sketches for new machines. Go ahead and give them a try. What else can you invent? <gasps> Let's see what else, what some of her sketches are. Let's see. Benjamin tre Benjamin's treadmill, so the cat can get some exercise. Double seesaw. Oh, fun. Phil's climbing wall, so the sloth can get some exercise too. Lots of exercising here. Nacho centrifuge, Katinka's whip whippersnapper, Ooh. the ultimate noodle spinner, noodle work extraordinaire, extraordinaire. Ooh, I love noodles. I like eating ramen and pasta. They're both noodles. Phil's pyramid, oh, very cool. The champion stand, <laughs> Nacho wins. Like. It looks like that's like a, a gold medal, right? The wheel robot. <laughs> Instead of a robot, it's a wheel ro robot. A robot made of wheels. The end! Yay! The end! 
So that was Goldie Blocks and the Spinning Machine. It comes with all these pieces, and you could build not only Nacho Spinning Machine, but a bunch of other um, cool inventions here at the back on your own. And you could even invent your own invention. Tip. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in. Next week, we're going to open up um, a bunch of circuit stickers, and I will show you what that is next week. Say bye. Bye. Bye from all of us. Bye from Katinka and Nacho and Phil and Benjamin Franklin and Flavio. Bye, guys.